Mario, I'm thinking of becoming a detective when I grow up. There's this really cool detective in this novel my mom's reading right now. I wanna be like him. Mario, great timing. Somebody was looking for you. He's over at Merlin's house. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Paper Mario. This time, adventure awaits you, ho! Oh, it's you. You came at such a good time. There's a guest waiting for you. Nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley is in the Shiver region, a chill place far to the north at the very end of the earth. Merle, who hails from there, has said he, uh, he had something important to tell you, Mario. Merle of Starborn Valley is my son, Mario. It seems he's calling for you. If he is searching for you, you can be sure something of important is something important is afoot. You must go to Starborn Valley. Do not delay. Yes, please hurry. I will run ahead and take tidings of you tomorrow. I think somewhere deep below Toad Town is a pipe connected to Shiver City. Starborn Valley is located quite near Shiver City. Mario, hurry to meet my son. He waits in Starborn Valley. I thought that this would probably be confusing to a first timer as it's just kind of in a house somewhere and random NPCs tell you to go there who you might not talk to, but nah, they are pretty clear about how when we're lost we should go to Merlin and we haven't had any direction on where to go exactly, but it's clear that the adventure should be getting going pretty soon, so I think it's pretty okay. By going to through the blue house in Toad Town, we can make our way here, switch into a much better party member. Yep, yeah, Black Alester, you're going to be, um, taking some L's, as the kids like to say these days. That is because you are not very poggers and quite unhype. Well, we want to uh, open all this up, then we can hop across. This door will be locked at any point prior to this. But now, the ninji has run ahead and unlocked it for us. Meaning... Ooh, what could it mean? What could it mean? This is so cool. I love the way that this ice looks. Over to the left, we get a super block. And I want to upgrade Watt. We've been long overdue for upgrading Watt. I can't believe that she has avoided being upgraded all of this time. But chapter six just wasn't really the right meta for her. As good as she is normally, I didn't see much reason. A lot of enemies are electrified, a lot of them don't have defense, a lot of them have a lot of health. Not the best time for. So now. We've got just one star spirit left to go. And we will learn of this deity's fate in the mind-bendingly epic, super spectacular, ultra amazing, damn near perfection that is chapter seven, a star spirit on eyes. Let me tell you, you are in for one hell of a ride if you've never seen this before. Don't even let me spoil it for you. Play up to this point in the game, experience it for yourself. This is probably my number one chapter in any Paper Mario. We begin on a quaint little song. Yeah, hello. This is the northernmost burg, Shiver City. You come from Toad Town? Very, very far away, yeah. Welcome to Shiver City. Okay, I'll let you listen now. little song. It's so welcoming and friendly sounding and we got a great shop here. They sell shooting stars normally, which is the best spread damage possible from an item. Snowman dolls ain't gonna be too terribly helpful, but maybe you like them. Maple syrup. We get live streams for only 40 coins. Good, good shop. And should you be in the market for selling, uh, they like warm items like the fire flower. Um, various cooked foods such as the bland meal or deluxe feast is also good. 
Next up, we're going to go to the Toad House. Aww, he's so cute. Huh, you look okay to me, Mario. Are you sure you feel like taking a nap? Take a nap, sleep well, sleep well, yeah. He talks like that because he's not like the other toads. If we fall asleep in the Toad House, we get a cooking ingredient every single time we do it as a renewable resource. The ice potato restores five HP. And if I were to say pause and unpause, watch the toad. Yeah, he turns back into a normal ass toad. Whenever the game gives more unique, interesting, elaborate appearances to generic characters, uh, it does this by altering the existing character model. So in that case, with us pausing and unpausing, it forgets to load the little, you know, frills and bells and whistles onto that toad, and he just turns back to normal again. Next, we're going back to Toad Town. You heard me. I went through every single hint that Merlin can possibly give by reading a text dump, and this hint, yeah, I wanted to show it because it's so unlikely that you would ever see it. Do do do. I can see you visiting the most important penguin in a cold city. <laughs> they were not happy to have to write a hint about that one and probably got told by QA that they had to write one. Uh, I feel sorry for whatever tester had to talk to Merlin after every single little thing they did in an entire playthrough. Whoever you are out there, I appreciate you. And I know you exist. Of course you exist. This is what software testers do. And we're back. Yeah, the sorts of things that I go through in order to do these things, it's pretty fun. Hey, the three traveling sisters. When you hear about Shiver City, ice skating is the first thing that comes to mind. Well, skiing's nice too, but not when a monster's loose. It's scary out in the snow, so city skating we will go. Yeah, yeah. I love sliding on thin ice. Wish, so much fun. How about you? Wanna join me? Wish, wish. Doesn't give any additional spin dashness. I guess that happens when you write a paper. Really love sliding around in the snow. Pingy, pangy, pangy, pong. Snow falling all day long. Snow is falling all day long. Skate or spin or sing a song. Whoa, hey, do be say, wave on, yay. Oh, I think I'd better practice. Yeah, I'd say so. Let's do it. Let's spin around on the ice. What are you doing? Stop that. Have you lost your wits? What if the ice breaks? Yeah, what if the ice did break? <laughs> no, are you a complete idiot? I told you not to do that. That's really dangerous. <laughs> he drags us away. Don't you ever listen. You're a public nuisance. Take a hike. <laughs> public nuisance. An Animal Crossing title I will wear with great pride. If we go back into the other area, um, wait, what do you say now? I'm the city guard around here, investigating a report of a suspicious character wandering around the city. <laughs> you, you're not him, are you? You just saw me five seconds ago, buddy. Do you, I guess short-term memory issues are not really the best thing to have if you're an investigator. <laughs> yeah, we can't go any further than that. Unused in the code is an even more cracked version of the lake, implying that you would have had to have ground pounded this three times to make that happen instead of just two. Chakushmo! There's also a glitch that causes the ice to outright disappear, seeing this void of nothingness below it. It's super cool, I love the colors of it, and honestly, it's way, way better than having actual ice there. Anyone for shaved ice treat? Strawberry flavor, maybe some maple watermelon? Or my personal favorite, tangy tangerine. <laughs> I love frozen treats. I think we want snow cones right now. I went to a snow cone place recently and they only had alcoholic snow cones. And I was like, can you make me a non-alcoholic one? They're like, no. And I'm like, why the heck not? Like, why is that extra step of adding like booze into it so necessary for it to exist? The only thing I could come to was that the syrup was prepackaged with alcohol already mixed into it. And when I heard, when I realized that, I was like, oh, maybe it's for the best that I'm not getting a snow cone here. Attack FX E badge changes our sound effect while attacking. Let's put that on right away. You ready for the best sound effect of them all? Yoshi, so happy. God, I love this thing. It's so good. Just, this is one that I don't really get annoyed at all that much. Yoshi's original voice is a record scratch played backwards if you're not aware of that fact. I just thought it was kind of cool. I really need to put on the I Spy badge. I just realized that, give me a second. 
I had one extra BP. The heck was I doing? I got speedy spin. I got uh, I spy. I got all my necessaries. A really shady individual came to the city recently. Uh, uh, well, the, the mustache only makes me look like a cartoon villain. He was screaming at the top of his lungs and running around. It was really odd. I think something strange is going on in our peaceful city. Oh, we have a guest. Welcome, you poor man. You must be freezing. If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please, go right in. For me? You shouldn't have. No reply. Mare Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a memo in his hand that says, Herringway. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh, dear, you know you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. <laughs> no! That startled me so much as a kid. I was playing this at like 11 o'clock at night and I was like 10 years old and God, I hate this woman for scaring me like that. He, like, made my heart jump more than, like, anything in my life up to that point. Help! Somebody! Anybody! My husband is dead! He's been murdered! It's a penguin murder mystery! What's going on here, madam? Just calm down now. I need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. My husband is dead! Look at him lying there! Oh, my darling husband! Somebody clipped his feathers! By Puffin, you're right! The mayor's been murdered! This is like a mystery novel, except it's real! How tragic. But, madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have a reason to put this penguin on ice? Him! Right there! That man with the suspicious mustache! I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in! My husband was alive up until this man showed up! He must be the murderer! Hey, you, mustache. Are you listening? This good woman's accusing you. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We've got a witness here. Isn't that right, ma'am, madam? Yes, that's right! He did it in cold blood! I, uh... Saw it with my own eyes! Besides, he's the only one who came into this room! It all adds up! So you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. I was with him the whole time! I swear on my own grave! Mario's innocent! Ghost waifu is best waifu! It's such a good line! Ugh! I went through all of the cutscenes, looking to see what every partner said whenever they comment on the current situation, seeing all the variants, and this one right here was the best of them all. Everyone else is like, dude, this is Mario we're talking about, like he would do anything else, but no! She just goes straight for, I swear on my own grave! <laughs> hmm, if you're telling all the truth, then we're dealing with a backroom murder case. I would also be convinced by that. <laughs> a backroom murder case. A high-ranking penguin slain. How could such a horrible plot twist hit our peaceful city? You, Mr. Mustache, once more for this, once more for the record, you swear you didn't do this. Now talk to the police. Okay, I think I believe you. But this means we have to find the true murderer. Ah, perfect. I'll give you a chance. Since you claim that you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. All right, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to leave the city. You're just lazy and don't want to do your job. You killed him, didn't you? I knew my instincts were right. When I saw a stranger like you out here in such a remote place, I knew that you must be up to no good. Oh, the horror! My poor, poor penguinkins. Please forgive me for letting this murder in the house. I can't believe I'm talking about this, but... In the badly translated thing that I've talked about so much throughout the series, um, the way that it translated penguinkins, it didn't know what kins was, because it's like a separate word, the way that it's hyphenated there. So, I guess it tried to look for what kins could stand for as an abbreviation, and it says, My poor penguin Korean Institute of Nuclear Safety! <laughs> it's so good. 
<laughs> Gosh, uh, Gambario, get out here. You can be our Watson. Mayor Penguin was murdered in this back room, and no one has the slightest idea who did it. Oh, it can't be. It's like we're in one of Herringway's mystery novels. How could such a terrible thing happen in such a small, peaceful city? Who could do such a thing? The mayor's wife said the man with the mustache did it. And he seemed to be such a gentleman, too. Still, I guess you shouldn't trust anyone who carries such a huge hammer. Ugh, how terrifying. Just goes to show you that you should never trust your first impression of people. They're blocking the hidden star piece, those monsters. It's a good thing I already got it, otherwise I'd have to kill them, too. So we're starting off with a pretty big bang, wouldn't you say? We got some good music, the humor is spot on. You better show some evidence if you're really not the one who murdered Mayor Penguin. Tell you do, I'm sorry, but I can't let you leave the city. I won't budge from this spot. Oh no siree! I'm serious now, there's no use trying to move me. Am I being too rude? Sorry. Well, there's certain benefits to being a wanted murderer, allegedly. Because that cop is busy investigating it, we can go dancing on the lake and no one can stop us! <laughs> I really don't see what the big deal is. They're all penguins. They can survive in sub-zero waters just fine. Sorry, Gumbario, you didn't really get to be our Watson for very long. So we'll go down into it, get the warehouse key. A key to the warehouse in Shiver City. I can see a place to use this right away. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Go on up. Nice puzzle solvy stuff. Gonna slide down like it's dry, dry desert all over again. Down the chimney! Thank God the fire wasn't on. What in the? Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room! Through the chimney. Ingenious. Oh, me? I'm Herringway, the novelist. Haven't you heard of me? Oh, what? Mayor Penguin was murdered and I'm the chief suspect. You must be joking. This That's ridiculous. I did no such thing. You are very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. Uh, it appears as though uh, I should drop into the mayor's house. Engage stairs! This guy's awesome. I've always wanted a secret compartment in my house to just chill in and be creative. All right then, come on, let's go to the mayor's house. Doors are for losers and non-creative types. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's go down here. Off he goes. I can beat you there because I got speedy spin. Oh, uh, or you can just teleport the rest of the way there, thus beating me there. Well, I didn't account for that. Oh well. we'll go this way. Oh, ah, I can't beat him there. Let's get to the bottom of this case right now. Shaved ice looks so delicious. God, it's so funny, like, how funny they've made a murder mystery here. Nope, you say the same thing. My poor Penguin Korean Institute of Nuclear Safety. Oh, you again! Have you come up with anything? Hmm? Say, isn't that penguin behind you the mystery novel writer named Herringway? Did you catch on that Herringway's novels were what the people of Toad Town were into? Nice little bit of foreshadowing. What, what? In the box, Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway written on it? Bah, if that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. Hmm? He definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yes, of course, it's a message about his death. With his last breath, the mayor told us the murderer's identity. So, Mr. Herringway, you cold-hearted murderer. It all makes sense now. No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful. You live out your own plots. Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine. Hmm, yes, yes, you were good friends. Aha! But that was just a cover so no one would suspect you of this heinous crime! That's it, isn't it? I've solved this crafty mystery! Oh, come on, really, you simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working in my new ho in my house on my new novel for weeks! I didn't have time to sneak over here to kill Mayor Penguin. I'd just like to say that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer. Hmm. 
this penguin murder mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. Uh... Oh, my aching! Ouch! <laughs> my husband's returned! He's a ghost! <laughs> oh, what do you have against dead people? Did you see ghost waifu earlier? Don't be racist. What's going on here? What? What? Mayor, we thought you were dead! Our backroom murder mystery is a wash! What a plot twist! Like, disappointed that he's alive? Huh? What are you talking about? Um... I think... I seem to remember going to the shelf to get the souvenir for Herringway. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yes, that's what happened. Here you are, Herringway. This is what I was reaching for. Toad Town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. Well, uh, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. But Mayor, we were thinking here that you'd been murdered. The whole city was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. Ah, yes, so sorry. <laughs> I thought it rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything's okay now. The mayor is just fine. I must return to my home now. I believe I've just had an idea for the sequel to my new novel. <laughs> um, I have the best intentions, but I always- Oh, but for some reason, I always end up causing a ruckus. Oh, I very much relate. Hello. Sorry about all that. Uh, so I must apologize. Say, you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to, to Shiver City, Jewel of the North. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, you want to hike over to Starborn Valley, do you? I see, of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you out of the city. You'd best bundle up. I got long sleeves, I'll be fine. That present that he had is a placeholder sprite for practically every unused item that doesn't have graphics. I guess it was just useful as a placeholder in the game that it stuck out a lot. Uh, please come back any time. Northern lands aren't much for scenery, but there's always plenty of spence. What are you kidding? Like, Alaska is a beautiful. Uh, you always need a warm welcome around here. Uh, I knew you were innocent the whole time! Backroom murder case, please. How completely silly. That overzealous guard must read too many mystery novels. Ha <laughs> Anyway... You'd better feel awkward. In that moment there, uh, I didn't really want to bring it up then, but if you pause and unpause on the way to Mayor Penguin's room with Herringway, he turns into a normal penguin by, and stays that way when you get there, and this screws with the animations. Um, here's a video of that working, but if you were to do this on a Nintendo 64, it crashes the game, one of the easiest crashes to perform. Ah, good first case for the mustachio detective, or as I call him, the secret stash. We're going up here. I want to talk to Herringway one more time. Very worth your while. That's just like the mayor, hitting his head on the floor and knocking himself out. He was really worried there, and all for nothing. At least it wasn't a complete waste of time. Now I have material for a new novel? You know, maybe I could write a story about you too. How about that? <laughs> Don't worry. I'd write it about you as a he- I'd write you as a hero, not a criminal. Hmm. Ever occur to you that this is a storybook? It's kind of cute. Love how he just seems disappointed that his friend didn't die and like being like, Oh, well, it was fun. I don't know. I don't really trust the guy. What do you say, actually? For Puffin's sake, the mayor's a- why was it alarmist? I thought he said anarchist for a second. Um, and he, although I bet everyone involved would agree that the detective war was perfect. Uh, you didn't? Anyway, these are the kinds of people that we are letting defend the public. That is all for now. Next time on Paper Mario, we set out to New Frontiers to hopefully reach Starborn Valley. See you guys then.